So it is really, really freaking cold out. Uh, just look at the, uh, well, you saw the thumbnail image for this video. Uh, regen was completely disabled, and uh, I was limited to about a 70 kilowatt of acceleration power. Well, um, I just dropped off Shaolei at her school, and um, they have a charge point here. Where is it? There it is. See, I'm plugged into a nice 208 volt, 30 amp charge point, which is basically nothing at all. Uh, yes, I did forget to plug in last night. Kids, they can be distracting. So, um, oh, we're up to 16 amp now. Now, uh, when I plugged in, well, here, the purpose of this video is to show you what happens when you have a completely cold soaked battery. So we're gonna go right up here. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go right down here because it's gonna be too bright to see otherwise. That is just not working. There, that's better. All right. So if you can see right up there, upper right hand corner, it's pretty much hovering between zero and negative one amp. Uh, we want um, we want power going in. So that's basically telling us right now the battery is actually not charging. Why? Because lithium cannot be charged, in, at least consumer grade lithium, cannot be charged at or below freezing. Look at the battery pack temperature right there, 30. 0.5 degrees as a high and a low of 28.8. Now when I left the house um, those were both in the teens. So just the act of driving six miles here um, uh, warmed up the battery that much. Now this is why I, I, I'm more than happy to leave range mode off and um, and forgo regen. Uh, it's basically because the pack heater to bring this up so I get regen uses more power than what I would gain by having the regen. And it, unless it's a lot of stop and go city driving, such as for a taxi driver, um, it, it's not worth leaving that on. And it warmed up that much just on the way here. And the reason it's going up now, even though it's still not charging, and uh, this is how I'm at a 22 millivolt imbalance of my pack, but um, the reason we're still drawing 16 amps, I'm going to turn my seat heater up since we're on shore power, um, that is how much power the battery pack heater uses. So right now, and I'm, I got it here too, just to show, see, nothing's going in the pack yet. And the reason I just went up, let's see, what turn off my seat heater, what does it drop to? 16. Yeah, seat heater at full power uses like 75 watts. I forgot I benchmarked it at something once before. Um, and the reason the range, even though we're not charging, the reason the range is going up is because the temperature of the pack is going up. See my snowflake video. And I'm not talking about uh, political snowflakes. I'm talking about uh, the battery temperature and range loss snowflake. Um, I'll link that in the video description box below and again at the end of this video in the end screens um, and that'll explain what the snowflake means. Uh, basically uh, you'll see a snowflake icon up here if your battery pack is super cold and a little blue bar and the blue bar at the end of your range um, tells you how much range you lost just because your pack is cold. And now my battery is at 32 degrees as a high, but still 30.7 as a low. So it's still not charging yet. It has to wait until that lowest uh, cells get to at least 32 degrees, above 32 degrees Fahrenheit. But um, again, this is coolant temperature. Um, and since it's running through all the cells, of course, the pro Tesla probably has it programmed in to um, to wait a little bit higher, just to make sure the actual cells all have reached uh, above 32 degrees and uh, and then start charging so we're still at 16 16 amps 205 volts I could actually turn my heater on and I'd have extra power to spare uh, for 
the cabin heater without taking away from charging power. But uh, so we got 16 amps times 205 volts, which means the pack heater is 3,280 watt heater. That's that's a lot of power. Think um, think of it as being like uh, two space heaters. Electric space heater, 1500 watt space heater. Actually, it's more than that. But just to give you an example, um, I mean that's that's a lot of power. This, this thing's drawing uh, just to heat a cold battery. So we're at 34.1 as a high, and as you can see, and I brought this to Tesla's attention, and they said it's fine. <laughs> I don't believe them, but. Um, you can see one set of bricks always seems to warm up quicker than everything else, whether it's driving, summer, winter, anything. One set of bricks is always always hotter than the rest, or one sheet of cells. And um, given that the temperatures are the same on a cold salt battery pack, I don't think it's a sensor issue. I think there is something going on with that, but maybe that's the one that's causing my, my range degradation. It would make sense if one's getting hotter heat is what kills 32.2 let's see are we charging yet mm, yeah possibly car just went up to 18 amp negative 1.4 amps and two So it looks like, oh, now we're up to 19. Yeah, looks like charging has just begun, although at an extremely slow pace. I'm turning my seat heater back on, I'm sorry. It's, it's cold, it's really cold. Um, it's, oh, uh, it just hit 25 degrees now outside according to the on dash uh, temperature gauge however when I left the house uh, we're going towards the lake um, Lake Michigan as we get closer to the lake it warms up I'm a little further inland about seven miles so uh, it was actually about 17 when we left my house that's Fahrenheit not Celsius Yes, we are charging the actual current going into the pack. Four amps at 319.39 volts. At this rate, charging will take over 50 hours. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actual pack. It doesn't tell us. That just tells us the total amount that the charger is drawing. Forty-five degrees inside the cabin. <laughs> yeah, it's a little chilly. Twenty-seven amps. I'd imagine still most of the power, and yeah, because we're only at, the back pack is only charging at 6.2 amps at 320 volts. Uh, so what's 6.2 times 320? I'm just going to round it, doesn't, we don't have to be that accurate. 320 times 6.2 amps. Volts times amps equals watts. Did I do that right? 320, 320 volts times 6.2 amps. There we go. The pack is charging at just a hair under 2 kilowatt right now. <laughs> yeah. The charger is now maxed out. So between charging the car and heating the pack, uh, we're, now, we're now maxed out on what this charge point can provide. Um, now if we were on a supercharger, um, all the charging power possible could be going to the pack that it would allow, plus the the uh, plus the heater, since the supercharger can provide considerably more power. 
And we have, we've actually gained back one mile of charge of range just from charging. And the pack is now charging at seven amps at through two, uh, 321 volts. So I thought this was kind of neat. Thought you guys would all like to see uh, somewhat how the pack heater and charging at really freaking cold temperatures are. And you can see that one brick of set, one sheet of cells is at 37.9 volts, and everything else is hovering around 34.6. Now, the warmer the pack can get up to a certain point, uh, the faster the charging. Um, you won't see full charge speeds available until the pack gets to around 55 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. I have no clue. Hey Siri, 60 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. 16 degrees Fahrenheit is minus 8.9 degrees Celsius. I said 60. 60 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. The answer is 15.6 degrees Celsius. Okay, so approximately 15.6 degrees Celsius. That's when you're going to start being able to hit your high charge speeds, uh, which of course you'll never reach except when plugging into a supercharger. But on top of that, even though it might start out just a tad bit slower at the supercharger, the insane amount of power the supercharger can dump into your battery pack does cause things to heat up quite considerably. Now at the top of the spectrum, uh, your charge rates at a supercharger will actually be lowered once the car battery hits um, 113 degrees, since lithium doesn't like to be charged over 113 degrees as the degradation accelerates. And charging a lithium battery um, below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius causes permanent battery capacity loss, which is why the car would not let it charge. Uh, we lost, it's a little lower, still hovering right around there. Uh, since the car would not let it charge below that, that's a protection feature. Charging lithium below freezing, at or below freezing, causes the internals of the battery cell to electroplate each other, and that is permanent battery capacity loss. There is absolutely zero way to reverse that except by uh, basically breaking down the battery and recycling it into a new battery pack, re-refining everything. Now, there are military grade and expensive grade lithium cells that are formulated different that can be charged below freezing. Um, I've seen one that could charge at, I think, negative 40. Uh, very expensive military grade cells, though. Got two miles back. Where are we at now? 40 on the high, 36.3 on the low. Oh, now we're at 6.6. .6. Charging slowing down a little bit. We'll keep going for just another minute or two here because I think you guys are getting the idea at this point. Now, even on consumer grade cells, um, you can charge them. I'd say between 0 and 32 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the charge rate has to be astronomically slow. Uh, think um, lithium solar pathway lights that you might have outside your home. Um, they charge off those little solar panels at extremely slow pace, and they still last pretty decently. You get a couple of years out of those, um, out of those batteries. Uh, but... Um, it's still not very good for the battery, and I'm talking about charging at a rate of maybe uh, a quarter of a watt, 0.25 watts per cell, whereas uh, a supercharger it could charge uh, could charge the, uh, up to about 30 watts per cell um, on on a Model S. Three miles back.
So I'm thinking you all get the idea, and we'll cut it here. So I hope you learn just a little bit about why the cars don't like to regen or charge when it's really cold out. Oh, one thing I also forgot to mention. Um, you, now, even though the car and the battery can take a charge now, uh, um, with the cells above freezing, um, you're not going to get the full charge speeds uh, because it still puts a lot of stress on the cells to charge at a higher rate, which is why it's charging slower. Now, um, as that pack warms up, that's why you get your regen back the warmer the pack gets. So right now, I'm probably limited to about almost zero regen, just extremely slow, not enough to be of any use. It'd probably, to slow me down from 30 miles an hour to a dead stop would probably take a half mile, if not longer. Uh, I'm actually going home now, and I'm going to plug in as soon as I get home. I only got to go seven miles to get home. But I figured, as long as I had a charge point here and my camera, why not show you guys all what it looks like? 42.2, The charge rate's still hovering around, uh, it's at about 6.8 amps yet, it's not really going up. We'll just round that to 7 times, how many volts? 323. 2.2 kilowatt charge right now. Don't forget, volts go volts are going up as we charge. So even though the amperage isn't really going up, uh, actually the amperage is going down. It's actually charging at a slightly quicker pace. Three miles back. <laughs> My gosh. And even when charging at full speed, this charge point usually provides about 18 miles per hour recovery. 18 to 25. I think 25 was the most I've ever seen, and depends on how much voltage drop. This thing, actually this one doesn't have too bad a voltage drop. Um, I've seen some where it dips down to 190. And adios, cutting it in here. Okay, literally 20 seconds after I cut the video, uh, all of a sudden charge speed jumps up to 15.6 amps at 325 well we're running at 326 volts so 326 well, what reason did it decide this looks like just almost 40 degrees is where it will give us the 30 amp at 200 volt charging so now uh, now we are charging at the maximum rate for this station. Uh, the car is actually getting the full 30 amps to the battery. No longer that going in, in like 20 watts right now to my seat heater. And the car is no longer running the battery pack heater as it's not required. And just the act of charging at this point will continue to have or allow the battery temperature to rise. <laughs> 